everybody, today I'm reviewing this Tamaki, let's see, SH Figure Arts by Bandai. This is the Bruce Lee figure. I got this for my dad. He's very detailed. He does not come with a stand, but he can pretty much stand on his own pretty good. So let's take a closer look at this figure. Let's start off with the box. Yes, I already have them out. This is an SH Figure Arts Bruce Lee by Bandai. The box is pretty sturdy. And you can pose him. He comes with different weapons. Gives you some examples of how they pose him. Unfortunately, I cannot read the writing mostly. He even comes with different face expressions. This one is my favorite face expression. It reminds me of my dad. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the figure and the extras. Right in the box you get, of course, instructions about the figure and how to, you can change his face, you can change up his hands so he can hold his weapons, and all that. Then we have his different faces. That one's actually kind of creepy. And then we got that one. He does come with quite a few different hands. As you can see. And then he has his other weapons. He does come with nunchucks, which I got on the figure already, but I'll show you that in just a moment. So that's everything he comes with. He does not come with a stand, unfortunately, but that's okay. He stands pretty good on his own. Now the figure itself, let me get him. Now here is Bruce Lee. This guy is off to the side. Poker lips face, his fist, his nunchucks, he's shirtless. And his pants and his feet and his traditional shoes. This is a very nice figure, very detailed. It almost feels like his eyes are following you, isn't it? It's kind of creepy. But this is one of the my favorites because, well, my dad imitates him a lot, so very nice. Let's take a look, closer look. He does come with nunchucks, which let me see if I can get off without him falling on me. There. He does come with nunchucks with a real chain. So let's set those off to the side. Now to change his head, what you have to do is you have to work it off using his chin. See how that's coming apart? don't want to break it. There we go. So there's his face. That's what the back looks like. And then we'll, there he is without a face. And then you just grab one of the faces you want. Oops. And you just pop it back in like so. So now he has a face again. His hands are the same way. You just pull them off like that and pick whatever hands you want and put them back on. And like I said, you can pose him any way you want. This is the pose I like to put him in. Hold on.
this is somewhat the pose I like him to be in. And then I like to take his nunchucks and put them on him. That's one of my positions because, you know, my dad always plays around. It's like, ooh, you shall not pass. I will take my nunchucks and I will slap you. Well, this is my review on the Bruce Lee figure. He is very detailed. I like him a lot. You can pose him in any way you want, whether it's sitting, standing, or let's see if I can do this. Kicking. It's up to you. I prefer him sitting. So, thanks for watching. You'll come back and see more reviews. Yes, you do. See you next time. Bye bye. Ooh. See you next time. Bye. I want, I want. Empty your mind. Be formless. Dangerous. Like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes a bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend.